stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I just wanted to show you this amazing technique with masking. Look at this beautiful card with that amazing little snowy background for those beautiful snowflakes with a little bit of silver bling with the metallic thread and the silver foil behind the snowflakes there. So I want to show you how I did the masking technique which by the way I got this amazing idea um, from one of my fellow demonstrators Kim Peck who is absolutely amazing and she did so many beautiful um, different creations with different colors with this for fall and um, spring and winter and just all kinds of different great goodies um, so I just had to try it out myself and I'm gonna show you how I did that so here let's bring in our grid paper so here we have our grid paper and I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock underneath this mask and it measures three and three quarters by five because I measure or because I layered it onto Night of Navy that measured four by five and a quarter and then on a Marina Mist card base. So I have my piece under there and I just cut a rectangle out of a piece of printer paper. And I wanted to use the printer paper because I wanted my mask to be thin, whereas if I used cardstock, well one, I didn't want to waste a piece of cardstock on it, and two, cardstock or cardboard are a little bit thicker. So when you scroll over it with your um, sponge brayer, you're going to end up with like a little bit of a lip. So I cut that rectangle out. Um, of course, since I already had this, I thought I would just go ahead and do it with the rectangle prior. Um, but there's also this fabulous post-it note tape, which is super fun. It's all sticky on the back side, but otherwise it's just tape, so it easily comes off. So you can then, you know, create a, a rectangle or a square or just any sort of shape um, with those flat sides there. You will also want to add a little dab of adhesive to the back side of where your cardstock is to make sure that it holds on tight um, and doesn't move on you while you're sponge brayering. So the first color I'm going to lay down is Marina Mist. So I'm just going to sponge over this whole thing in Marina Mist. And of course, um, if you want it to be darker, then just keep rolling. So go back to the ink and again with a nice light touch and then just roll right over. Let me bring in the ink pad real quick. You just want to go like a, just a nice light touch. You don't want to press hard. Pressing hard into the ink pad isn't going to get you more ink. It's just going to um, smash into the ink pad and sometimes you can get a little scratch on the ink pad by that plastic there. So if you want light, then you just go over a few times. If you want dark, then you just go over many, many times. So now we have that nice little layer of our Marina Mist. And then I took the squir Swirly Scribbles die, this fabulous one, and I die cut some of our um, the cardboard that comes on the back of your designer series paper. So here I have die cut that and I have some um, painters tape on either side and I'm just going to lay this over my mask. So now we have that fabulous look which looks super amazing just like that. But now what we're going to do is we're going to then take our Knight of Navy ink and I'm actually, since I'm just using this for one card, um, I'm going to use the same um, the sponge brayer because most of the ink has come off of it from the Marina Mist so I'm not going to mess up my Knight of Navy and I went with a darker color as my second color so um, you don't have to worry about it you know bleeding through or anything. So now we're just going to go over both of these masks with that Knight of Navy. And again you can go over it just a few times or you can go over it many many times. It depends on the look that you want. I think I'm going to stop there. So now we're just going to pull out this piece and look at that beauty. That is how I created this amazing card. So let's pull this back aside since we're done with the mask. So there it is, and again you can go lighter and darker, however you wish. Here's the original sample. I just used the Flurry of Wishes stamp set and the Coordinating Punch. 
So that's this set here. It's got the big snowflakes and then it's got this double snowflake which also coordinates with the punch as a double snowflake punch. And then these greetings too. So I um, punched the snowflakes out. I did two in Marina Mist and one of Night of Navy. And then I also punched out the same snowflake size in silver foil paper and then I just offset those. So you can see that I offset them and then added those to the card with Stampin' Dimensionals. I also added some of the metallic silver thread and just kind of looped it around and fanned it out on the ends and then it kind of comes together hidden under there. But super, super fabulous. A great winter card, a great Christmas card or just holiday card um, that you can use in the upcoming months. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the masking. I've been having so much fun with masking lately. Um, you can check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, where I'll have the samples of these as well as other tips and tricks on masking. And I'll leave some links down below to some of the other projects I've done. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe if you're new. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.